I don't know how much damage it did or it didn't. This revolt that took place on October 7, 1944, was aborted. Uh, either they were betrayed or uh, whatever. All the under commander people were uh, uh, killed. But the crematorium was destroyed as well. Since there were four crematoriums in Birkenau and one was destroyed by this. After the revolt, uh, the Germans found this little handmade grenades and they identified the gunpowder, which of course we didn't know that gunpowder has some char special characteristic. They identified this gunpowder as coming only from the Union and only from Pulveran, where my sister worked. They uh, uh, started an investigation. They uh, imprisoned the uh, four girls, uh, Roja Robota, Ala Gertner, Regina Safirstein, and Esther Weisblum. They tortured them mercilessly and eventually hanged them publicly on uh, January 5th, 1945. Did you witness your sister's hanging? No, I didn't. Uh, during the period of my sister being incarcerated in the bunker, which was a prison within the prison, uh, Marta succeeded to bring me letters from her from, and from Jakob, who was the capo of this bunker. He was very, very sympathetic to the girls. And through him, I received letters. You were saying that Marta brought letters. Marta br brought letters. And she was trying to get me to see my sister, but it never materialized. But Marta, sowing my depression, arranged with bribes to put me in a hospital in Auschwitz. At this point, the Union uh, commander was in Auschwitz. And uh, she was trying to reassure me and tell me, uh, apparently Jakob uh, received an order to execute the girls, but he was stalling for time, and he refused. He had the power to refuse it, and he said he's not going to execute the order un unless he's going to get it from Berlin. So it lasted for a while, and finally the order from Berlin came, and he didn't have a choice. Marta was always coming with visiting me every day, and she was telling me that uh, there was no order, that they are going, that everything is going to be okay, and uh, she wouldn't tell me the truth. On the day of the execution, I was in the hospital, and Marta came to take me out. Uh, the Union commander was uh, released earlier to witness the execution. But Marta's friends, Shari and Nelly, grabbed me and put me in the block so that I won't have to witness it. And I didn't know what was going on. I suspected, but I wasn't sure. And when we were on the block and I wanted to run out, they bodily held me. They wouldn't let me out. 